Jeremiah 29, 11 through 14. The most I says, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says Yahuwah, thoughts of shalom and not of evil. The Most High has good thoughts towards his people to keep his word, to give you a future and a hope. For the rebels, for the wicked, there's no future and there is no hope. There's no future for you. You continue on the road you're on, there is no future, but to the righteous, there is a future and a hope. It says, then you will call upon me and go and pray to me. You, We want to know how to hear from the Most High. He says, I will listen to you. We want him to listen to us when we pray. And when he listens to us, he responds. And this is when we hear a word from him. And you will seek me and find me. See, we have to seek him. We have to search for him. When you search for me with all your heart, some of us are searching for him with some of our heart. Some of us searching him with just a little of our heart. Some of us searching him with most of our heart. And then there is the remnant. The remnant is searching for him with all their heart. He says, I will be found by you, says Yahuwah. I will bring you back from your captivity. Here we go. In the lands of our captivity, how in the world did this happen, Yaakov? How did you end up in the land of your captivity? I will scatter, I will, he says, I will gather you from all the nations and from all the places where I have driven you, says Yahuwah, and I will bring you to the place from which I cause you to be carried away. So right here, people say, see, the Most High is going to gather us. We don't have anything to do, and they don't know Baruch chapter 4 and chapter 5, where he says, I will gather them. Look and see your sons come gathered at the word of the Most High. This is how he gathers us. At the word of the Most High. He gives out a command and his people gather together. His people do what the command says to do. This is how he gathers people. How did he deliver Noah? How did he save Noah from the flood? He gave him a command. Noah had to build this ship. How did Lot get saved? He got a command. Come out. Get out of there. Leave. And he delivered Lot. And we don't understand these things. So from the same place we were carried, we're gonna, the righteous will end up right back in the place where we were carried from. This is what it's saying. Isaiah 59 and 2. This is the reason why we can't hear from the Most High. But your iniquities have separated you from your Mighty One. Our iniquities will separate us from Him. He will show us our iniquities. We do our iniquities and He tell us don't do this and we continue to do this. This separate us from Him. And your iniquities have hidden. He says His face from you. So we have iniquities and he will hide his face from us so that he will not hear this. You see, if you do the opposite, you know, flee from your wickedness, flee from your iniquities, then he will hear. But if we swim and deal in iniquity, then he will not hear. This is how we hear from the Most High. This is answering the question, how do we hear from the Most High? Second Ezra 2 and 1, thus says Yahuwah, here's the Most High. Here's how you hear from the Most High. You hear from Him through His Word. When He give a word in the Scripture, this is one way to hear from Him. Another way, if, a, if He show a righteous person something of concerning you, and that righteous person delivered that message to you, and when you hear that person, you will be hearing the Most High. But make sure that the Most High spoke to that righteous person. He says, I brought this people out of bondage. And I gave them commandments through my service to prophets. This is how he delivered his word. But they would not listen to them and made my counsels void. So the people, our people today, most of our people are not going to listen to him. 
They're going to do what they want to do. They're going to listen to the part of scripture they want to listen to. And the rest of it, you see, they're not going to carefully observe all the commandments. Just some. Some commandments here and some commandments there. And we will do the rest on our own. And made void. Look. And made my counsel void. Making his counsel void. He give you counsel. Wise instructions. And you don't take heed. You don't listen. You don't do. Then his counsel become void. It's as if, it's as if he didn't give it. You didn't put it into operation. You didn't make it work. That's the same equivalent as Noah not building the ark when commanded to build it. It's the same equivalent to Lot not coming out when he command him to come out. Micah 3 and 4. Now this is what will happen to these people. Then they will cry to Yahuwah. See, these are the people that they don't want to. They want to stay in. They don't want to observe carefully all the words that he commanded. This is then they will cry to Yahuwah, but he will not hear them. You mean the Most High is not hearing? The, 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 he's not hearing when, when those rebels come and pray to him? He's not hearing the, the agents that's praying to him. He's not hearing these people. No. He's not going to hear our prayers when we're operating in our iniquities. No. He's not going to hear our prayer. This is what they're saying. But they're going to cry to him. And this is what we see when Jacob's trouble kick in. And scripture says they're going to lift up their voice. And they're going to cry out to him that they may be saved from the hands of Gui. And none will be delivered. None will be saved. Why not? The curses are still upon them. They're still in the land of their captives. They still belong to the enemy. They did not come out. They did not get within the borders. They are not in the wilderness. When Yaakov's trouble kick in, you want to be found in the wilderness. He says he will even hide his face from them at that time. At what time? At the time of your trouble. Because when you're eating, right now you're eating. You're eating and you're full. You are eating and you're full. And so you don't really, most of the rebels don't cry out to him at this time. But when the thing kick off, when it goes down, this is when they will cry out to him. And at that time, he's going to hide his face. Because they have been evil in their deeds. I told you, don't you listen to Shaul? Not of works. Deeds is works. Deeds are the things you do. It's not of works. It's by F-A-I-T-H. And not of works. Lest any man should boast. We know the verse. We know the verse. Ephesians 2, 8, 9. They, they, they gave it to us. They, they made sure we knew that in Christianity. John 10, 4 and 5. And when he brings out his own sheep, watch this. He goes before them. This is his sheep. This is These are the ones that listen. These are the ones that observe carefully all his commandments. And the sheep follow him. For they know his voice. If you are his sheep, you know his voice. Yet they will by no means follow a stranger, but will flee from him. This is saying the strange voice like Shaul, we're going to flee from this. Shaul is a strange voice. Shaul is a stranger. We don't even know who his father is. Till this day, no one, not anyone has given a name of the father of Shaul. You know, the one the Christian churches go to every Sunday. You open up the, the, the Bible, they go straight to Shaul. Shaul, Shaul. The ones the camp leaders love. No one has told us he's illegitimate. So he is a strange, his voice is strange. Calling Sani bondage. If you get circumcised, you're bound to keep the whole law. We're bound to keep the law before we were circumcised. When he woke us up, some of us was not circumcised. We're still bound 
to keep the whole observe to care observe carefully to do and keep all of it and so the men had to get circumcised along with keeping everything that we could keep in our homes and not keeping that which we can't keep in our homes see that's a command don't do this in your home you cannot do this within your gates within your homes only in the place where i place my name and hear our people rent a bit rent a, a building same build they rent listen our people let me show you the wickedness of our people our people are renting buildings to hold passover and the two months before them the wicked pe witches had the building they rented the building for their things so you have right you have so-called righteous and wicked people renting the same building having a a kadosh get together and a wicked get together this stuff is wickedness you should see you should see how the most high sees us that's why he told us in isaiah i hate your feast days our feast days are full of abomination and he hated he's saying to us why can't you just do it my way why you think your way is better than my way this is what he's saying he says, they will flee from the stranger, for they do not know the voice of strangers. The righteous, the righteous should know the voice of strangers. We should not know the voice. We only follow the voice of the Most High. And when we hear, his sheep knows his voice, and his sheep follow him. And his sheep will not follow after a strange voice. That's why the churches follow Shaul. That's why the camp leaders follow Shaul. They're following a stranger. They're not following the most high. You starting to understand this? You starting to realize why now many of them working for the system? Isaiah 48, 12 through 22. You want to know how to hear from the most high? We open up his scripture and he speaks to us through the scripture. And he is speaking to us in Isaiah 48. But sometimes what he speaks may not be what our people want to hear. Listen to me, O Yaakov. The Most High is about to speak. He's a trying to get our attention. He's saying, listen to me. When your kid's not listening to you, you have to say it to them over and over. Listen to me. You're not listening. When a husband not listening to a wife, when a wife not listening to the husband, we have to say it more than once. Listen to me. And Yashara my call. All right, so he's not talking. He, he's identifying who he's talking to. He's specific. He's talking to Yaakov and Yashara. He's talking to Yashara. I am he. I am the first. I am also the last. Why is he telling us this? Because we don't know him. Because we lost our heritage. Because we don't even know who we are. So this is how he's talking to us. Like we're kindergartners. And we're worse than kindergartners. We're like preemie babies. Don't know what's going on. Indeed, my hands have laid the foundation of the earth. And my right hand has stretched out the heavens. When I call to them, they stand up together. You see, when the Most High speak, here we go. This is how he operates. Check it out, rebels. This is how he operates. When he speak, the heavens move. When he speak, the sea moves. When he speak, the animals move and do. When he speak to humans, we do what we want to do. When he speak to people, we hard-headed. We stiff-necked it. He not saying that. You misunderstand what he's saying. So he's telling us, these things do when I command them. All of you, assemble yourselves in here. Okay, this is all of you, every last son of Yaakov. Listen up. Listen in here. The Most High is about to speak. He has something he wants to say. Who among them has declared these things? Who? Shaul didn't declare these things. Shaul didn't even declare all the words of Torah. And the scripture said, Cursed is he who does not confirm all the words of this Torah. Curse it. So who in the world could do these things but the Most High? 